I think there are a lot of opportunities that are, are coming um, along. For example, some of the research that we're doing, um, we, we have a model that uh, looks very similar to human mania in a lot of ways in the mice. And um, we've recently found this mouse actually does have a cycling, um, even though it doesn't ever go into a depressive state, it actually goes through a manic state and then sort of a, back to a normal state. And we've been able to use these mice to look at how different treatments that are currently being used for bipolar disorder are able to uh, reverse the behavioral phenotypes that we see in these mice. And by doing that, we've been able to narrow down um, the, the really important factors in these treatments and get to something that's more specific and maybe um, more targeted, which could be developed as a treatment in the future. Uh, so there's opportunities like this with the models that we use. Mm -hmm.